Whether it looks to the east or to the west, free trade supporters say the U.S. must act quickly to regain its share of global investment. Unfortunately, it has a lot of catching up to do, says Nancy McLernan, president for the Organization for International Investment. America's share of global investment has fallen dramatically. In 2000, the U.S. attracted 37 percent of the world's foreign investment. Today, we attract about 19 percent. The good news is that pending Trans-Pacific and Transatlantic trade deals could increase foreign investment in the U.S. by $173 billion and some say create more than 1.4 million jobs, nearly a third of them in the United States. But at what cost? At rallies this week in Washington, protesters said new competition will erode wages. Additionally, they said proposed tribunals would give big companies the right to undermine state and local laws. Stephen Gottlieb is a small business advocate. From the environmental perspective, it's really bad because they, these tribunals would be able to trump all of our labor and environmental laws if they feel that, for instance, public lands are standing in the way of their profits. Others say the proposed terms might be worse for the Europeans. Toby Chow leads a grassroots campaign that protects workers and their rights. Because in a lot of these European countries, uh, they actually have uh, much stronger worker protections and environmental protections than exist in the U.S. But trade is a two-way street. Without a deal, investors will seek opportunities elsewhere, says Peter Fannin, head of Panasonic's Corporate and Government Affairs Division in North America. Panasonic has the opportunity, like other global companies, to invest in those other places. But if the choices are clear and everyone has an opportunity to freely trade, as these agreements would ultimately permit, at reasonable levels and with appropriate safeguards, uh, then there's no reason why the U.S. can't draw more of those foreign investment dollars here, including from my company. Some of the fiercest criticism regarding the U.S.-EU trade deal focuses on the secrecy of negotiations. But Fannin says a fast-track bill expected to be approved by Congress would give the public 60 days to review the agreement before the president can sign it into law. Milar Sega, VOA News, Washington.